bring your car here, man. We Look. have this car for you, it's your friend. And we're gonna take care of your car. Yeah, we can take your care of your beautiful <laughs> car too. <laughs> I hope I hope you're gonna get my car fixed. Alright. Okay, okay, I hope you're gonna get my car fixed. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Guys, thank you. This is my mechanic, say hi. Okay, now we have a three cores. Mm -hmm. One is about a sensor, it's overheating. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the second camshaft sensor. Mm -hmm. And the third one is the EBAP system, small leak. That one is a fuel tank, something like that. It's not necessary. Mm -hmm. Only the, only for the, uh, only for the regulator. For the smoke? Uh huh. Yeah. That's a problem if you have an old car. This caused me to get uh, stuck in the uh, freeway. Very bad. Okay. Yeah. Oh, or the same thing. Yeah. Very low. Very low. Yeah. But th there's no leak. So maybe, maybe the thing is uh, we can do the service for the oil and the service for the. When you mean the service for the oil is what? Oil change oil. Change oil. Change oil. I don't know. What is the next? Change oil. No, yeah, it's time to change the oil. We got no problem. But the main problem right now is what we need is, uh, you know. Uh, all right. Driving here in La La Land is really a necessity. To have a car, or to have a good transportation, or means of transportation is really a necessity to many. You miss it. Traffic. No, remember yesterday we got stuck. This is Raul, one of the best um, car mechanic in town. So this is the guy. Oh. Well, I hope he really uh, got my car fixed. We will see. Well, actually, what can we expect uh, with a 20-year-old car? Driving a 20-year-old car is really like, you know, uh, having a pain in the rear. Not just pain in the wallet, pain in the rear. It's really a uh, hard aching. You're always in a, on a hard aching situation. But that's how it is. You have to deal with it. Right? So. When we talk about matters that affects our life and our activities, we simply cannot ignore to talk about how we commute. Here in many various places in the land of Uncle Sam, especially here in California and not just here in La La Land, driving a car is not a luxury but really a necessity. But having a reliable car and maintaining the great condition of it so we can enjoy and benefit from our main purpose of owning it or having it relies on our responsibility to take care of it. This is my mechanic, say hi. And troubleshooting a car is a big concern for many of us. That is why we end up turning to a car mechanic to troubleshoot the issue. But who among the car mechanics who can be trusted and who will not overcharge their customers? And who among them who are not taking advantage of their customers? But instead, they make their customers Truly satisfied. The problem for the top is down with the connector. So this is the this is the one that caused the problem, the connector. Because what? Because the code about the data code. That's a code P1300. That's been a hard problem with the coil, cylinder one. 
but uh, we find the problem is uh, that's the cylinder runs and we replace the connection. That's all the problem. Short circuit. Short circuit. Short circuit. Short circuit. That's the one. Replace a two, three. That's the one causing the power loss. Yeah. I disconnected. I disconnected. And I have the same thing. So, but uh, last time I tell you, it's not. It's not a coil, it's a short circuit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so... So it's a short circuit. It's a short circuit. Uh, I think so it's in the car, the, the others, the all connected. Yeah, I need to Okay. So, uh, I try to... Uh, okay. Let's put this on that test. Okay, so... So the verdict now is... How much you gonna... How much you gonna kill me? You can run the car again, because that one is a... I, uh, I checked the um, coil 3, that one is okay, so mm -hmm. that's a uh, replace the coil 2. To have a very limited knowledge when it comes to troubleshooting your car, this will be uh, uh, an issue. You cannot expect that all of us have a uh, knowledge, but it is a lot better if we have that uh, knowledge. We want to try how to troubleshoot, troubleshoot the car, because somehow it will save us some money. Otherwise, we're gonna look or find a, a mechanic, a car mechanic that is trusted, or someone who can trust, or someone that can be trusted. But this time, we don't know who are those people, who are those mechanics who, uh, who can be trusted to fix our car. Because I know some of them, they're just up there for your wallet. So to get someone to fix your car is really kind of like a daunting process. Ready to go. Ready to go? Another another 3,500? Or oh, three, 350,000? Okay. So, you got my regulator, right? Is that the regulator or radiator? Radiator. Regulator. No, radiator. Or the radiator. Radiator. I thought regulator. Radiator is the one that broke up, right? No. Yeah, the new uh, thermostat. Yeah, I just saw. Uh -huh. Okay, that's good. I think it will run uh, uh, great now, huh? Okay, now is the payment time. That's kind of like a what I don't like. <laughs> I got my car fixed, but I don't like to pay. Yeah, right. Oh man, what kind of person you are, man. So, I hope our friend Raul, our new found friend, will be our new mechanic. We'll see how he works for our next car. So you can say to your friends, hey, take your car here. If you come with us, Oh, free right. beer, man. Eh? Free beer. <laughs> oh, I love this. The light is in the city. Here we go. Here Thank you for coming for the business, man. Yeah, we repair a condition, air condition, electrical, full electrical, mechanical, air suspension. Okay. Thank you for coming. Say like Thank a, you for bring your, bring your car here. Bring your car here, man. We, we have this car for you, if you friend. And we're gonna take care of your car. Thank you. Kill. Beautiful car too. <laughs> I hope I hope you're gonna get my car fixed. Alright. Okay, I hope you're gonna get my car fixed. Okay, thank you. Guys, thank you. Well I hope you guys uh, enjoy watching the video and I hope you learn or you, you we got some great messages with regards to this video. This uh, you know everybody or Many of us can relate because we drive, we use car, and 
some of us probably are struggling hard when it comes to troubleshooting, when it comes to uh, how to troubleshoot the car, that's actually the problem. People have a very limited knowledge and no knowledge at all when it comes to fixing or troubleshooting the car. We ended up you know, spending money getting it fixed, right? Thank you for watching this video. I hope to see you next time.